Well, the book Inside the Secrets of Public Speaking is our brand new book, and it's all about questions and answers as to how you can give a better speech or presentation. And I'm one of the co-authors, I'm Nadine DeRaza, and Ian... I'm Ian Hawkins. That's is, ...is my other... I'm the other author. You are indeed. <laughs> but, well, we both were in the position of, of having lots of people coming to us and asking us questions about how you improve your public speaking, and so we thought the Q&A format worked really well because it was real-world situations. Nobody starts from scratch. Everybody's done it a bit and has succeeded or not. And we just thought Q&A, 50 questions, covers a lot of ground. And I think the beauty of the book is, is that it's a real dip in, dip out. So you mm. don't have to necessarily start at the beginning right through to the end. So very 50 practical questions. If you've got a dilemma, maybe you want your nerves under control or you want clues on how to deal with a, a rowdy audience right through to you know whether I should do a, a conference or a webinar, all sorts of r real hands-on practical mm. questions and answers that have come from us too. And people often ask us, you know, why us? And between us, we've got a huge amount of experience. I've been presenting for 25 years as a TV presenter, conference host. And during that time, I've seen brilliant speakers and I've seen some truly awful ones. And I just wanted to bring out a guide with Ian that um, could help people navigate them through that tricky world of public speaking. Because the information we've put in there is not available, because usually you get stuff mm. which is a load of waffle and rubbish, really, isn't it? Yeah, and this is, it, it's concise, it's to the point, it's really hands-on, it's really practical. I, I've, my background is that I, I used to be an agent, so I worked with people that did after-dinner speeches, so politicians, uh, entertainers, sports people that had retired were now going on the circuit and were telling stories about their about their lives and their achievements, motivational speakers. So I'd seen all of that side of things, as well as being a stand-up comedian. I go out and I make people laugh, which is what people always really worry about. Am I going to make people laugh? And I've done it around London, I've done the Edinburgh Festival, and I've played gigs in New York, so yeah, I... I been there, seen it and done I've it. But I think there, the thing yeah. about public speaking, even though Ian has got that comedy background, public speaking is not about telling the best joke, it's engaging with the audience. And we've got these three golden principles that we um, like to stand by. Mm. And I think the book is true to that. So authenticity, yep. true to yourself. Nobody wants to see somebody else. So in a way, whenever you're doing a presentation, you've got to make it your own so nobody else could deliver it in the same mm. way that you could. So that's when we talk about authenticity. And I suppose authority. Authority, absolutely. Because you've got to, you've, they've got to be listening to you for a reason. Mm -hmm. And if somebody else is, if you're the, you've got to be kind of the biggest expert in the room on that or believe that you are. And you've got to say, this is what I think is really important. And I am the person talking to you. And that has got to be kind of unassailable. And often people think authority yeah. and leadership go hand in hand, and they do. You don't necessarily have to be a leader of a business in order to give public speaking, but when you are giving a speech or a presentation, you need to be a leader in that given moment. You can still be vulnerable, you can be all sorts mm. of different styles and personalities, but you need to have that authority. And the third one, actually the most important one, which we've left to last, of the course. best to last, is the audience. And if you don't put the audience at the heart of everything you do, so often when I'm doing conferencing, conferences and chairing all sorts of live events it's very much well what do the audience want to hear what do they need to walk away with to make sure that they've got a lot out of this event so if you start with the basis hmm. of your audience first and foremost then you're halfway there more than halfway there 